Hello friends, welcome back to Genuine Corner. This is the third video in the Java Webcam Tutorial series. And in this video, I will show you how to in integrate the camera webcam capture with the GUI. I mean, I will create a user interface and add a button and when you click on the button, we will capture the image and display it. Okay, so that's what we are going to do. So in order to do that, I am going to use a new JFrame form and I am going to create what we can say webcam GUI. So I am uh, there is a simple JFrame and in Java, yeah, you if you want to display an image, you have to use label. So in order to display the image, I am going to use a label here. So there is a label and. Uh, uh, the support resolutions were 176 and in the last video we have seen three support sizes and one size is 320 by 240 and now I am going to set that so my image will be 320 by 240 or 640 by 480 uh, but for now let us stick with 320 by 240 and we will display the image in this label and I don't want this J label one text so I am going to remove that and I want a button so here I have a button and I am going to name it as capture. So far so good. I want to name this variable so change variable name and uh, I am setting it as image holder. So that's it. Now let us come to the source and uh, let's see uh, we have to create a webcam objects and things like, things like that. So I am going to remove the documentation and uh, let's create a webcam object here. So webcam 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 then in the constructors we create the object so webcam is equal to webcam dot get default then we have to set the sizes of course webcam dot set view size new dimension this is the things that we have done in the last video that's why i'm doing it fast so it is 320 by 240 and we have to open the camera so webcam dot open so when the program runs it will be opened uh, the camera will be open and when the program closes the webcam will be closed so that's it and uh, or else uh, so that's fine webcam dot open now what we want to do is when we click on this button we have to capture an image and displays display it on this area so for that I am going to click on the double click on this capture so I can uh, NetBeans will generate this method for me and here I can capture image so image image equals we can take a image using webcam dot uh, get image so it will take a ca image from the camera and now we want to set this image in the label so yeah the name of the label is image holder so image holder dot set icon and we have to convert this image object into an image icon so image icon image icon and inside that we can give image so uh, what we have done is we have uh, from the constructor when the program starts we will also create the uh, created webcam object and we open the webcam and when we click on the button we will take an image uh, it is a bad idea to not close the webcam but since this is a tutorial i'm not adding the code for closing the camera so let's run the program i'm going to click on webcam gui and run file so actually i don't like this window coming in the uh, left direction i mean in the topmost let us bring that to the center so i'm going to do that by set location relative to none so if you set that when the window loads it will be in the center of the screen so somewhere here so we got the window here and i am going to press on this capture button so as you can see i got my image and i am going to capture again that's it so uh, that's what happening we are when we press on the capture button uh, what uh, we, uh, we are taking an image and then setting it as icon so the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to create a video feed on this GUI. I mean, uh, when I press on the capture button, I will get a continuous feed in this uh, label. So in order to do that, we can use a thread. Actually, uh, there is a uh, webcam panel provided by this Arsos library, uh, which I introduced in the first video, in the introductory video. So 
if you come to the webcam direct field there is a webcam panel that supports the video field i mean you can do that easily by uh, these couple of links but in order to understand the basics of image capture i think it will be better if we write our own code for reading the field so what is a video a video is nothing but a continuous sequence of photos i mean photo uh, uh, if we take uh, 20 photos per second we will get a 20 fps video so let me create a thread that takes image continuously from the camera and displays as a video in this label so for that what i'm going to do is i'm going to create a thread so class video feed take uh, extends thread so it's a thread then there's a run method it is very very simple uh, yes i know so we got the uh, run then what we are going to do is we are going to take the cam image from the camera so webcam dot i mean we can reuse the code from here image image equals i'm going to cut this and i'm going to paste this right here so we will take an image and set it as icon this has to be put in an infinite loop so uh while true image image equal webcam dot get image image holder dot set icon um, now uh, since this is a while loop this will be doing very fast i mean uh, it will be taking much more frames per second so since we uh, if we want to control the number of frames taken in a second just use a thread dot slave and let us set it to something like 80 so it wait for 80 sec 80 milliseconds and then take an image surround block with right edge so this is all that we have to do in this thread so there is an issue i think no, that's not a problem. So uh, we created a video feed taker then. Here let's put create a new video feed taker. So video feed taker dot start. So what will happen is when I click on this capture button, when I click on this uh, capture button, uh, a new thread will be started. So this new video feed taker dot start and this thread will start and inside that we have an infinite loop and the, this infinite loop will take a new image in every 80 milliseconds and displays it so that's working and uh, let's run the program so webcam gui run let's I click on this capture so as you can see, I'm getting a video feed in my uh, GUI. So uh, it is a little bit laggy because we are taking only, uh, we are taking uh, uh, animation 80 milliseconds, which is not that good. Uh, let us decrease the sleeping time. So if I set the sleeping slide to 40 or 50, it will take two, uh, it, will, it will be 20 frames per second. 1000 divided by 50 is 20, so we'll get a 20 frames per second. Now let's run the program again. Uh, so webcam GUI run file. And I'm going to press on this capture button. As you can see now it is much more fluid because we are taking 20 frames per second. So I think you understood the basics. What is a video is it is nothing but a collection of photos. If you take much more photos and combine it, it will become a video now in the upcoming tutorial we will see how to create a video using the sarsos library and when we create a video what we are doing is we are taking a lot of image in a second like this 20 images per second and writing it into a file so that's it now uh, let's add much, some more functionality to this i mean uh, when we click on this capture button again it won't stop because it will only start one more thread so let's see how we can stop an infinite loop thread when we click on again on here so for that what i'm going to do is i'm going to create a boolean variable here so boolean is running equals false then what i'm going to do is here when I start a video feed if it is already if it is running then I will create uh, I will set is running equal to if it is already running then what we have to do I mean so I'm sorry for that if it is not already running 
we will start a new thread. That makes sense because if it is already running, we have already this thread working. So that is, is running. And uh, 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 what I'm going to do is I'm going to add here one more thing that is is running. So uh, only if the is running is true, this while loop will execute. So if I make the is running equal to, I mean, uh, if it is not running, then I will say to is running equals true so uh, the, during the first press is running is true so both these things are true is running this is true and this is true we don't want this true section here so is running then if we click on that again currently if it is already running then is running is true which will come to the else part and I will set as is running is equal to false so which will stop this thread Let's test that. I am going to click on here. So run file, and I'm going to click on this capture. So is running is working. Um, the first part is working, and I am going to click here again here. As you can see, it is choked. It is choked. So that's it, guys. Uh, there is one more issue because uh, uh, the problem is uh, there will be a new thread starting. That won't be a problem because this is just a tutorial video. You can uh, attach this thread to a thread to a variable and then restart it again. So that's it. That's it. The basic of uh, taking a video from the camera. So as always, thank you for watching this video. Like the video if you like it, and uh, subscribe for more cool videos.